This is Twit. Well, I am uh, time to upgrade my external drive. I have a MacBook Pro, the new one. All right. And by the way, that new the new laptop. I, I needed to go to a, a, a faster, uh, beefier laptop just because I work in parallels. Oh yeah, you my use, job. You run Windows on your Mac. Yeah, yeah. I have to. I don't have a choice. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. So I, I went with the i7 with their new laptop. Yeah, and, and lots of RAM. Actually, you want lots of RAM. I got 16 gig. Um, unfortunately, the, the max. The keyboard sucks. Oh, don't say that word, but it does, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, yeah. It begs you to say that word. It is the worst. I, everybody tells me just keep using it. You'll get used to no, it. No, you don't. But, <laughs> some people do. But anyway, what I, what I was using before on the previous laptop was... Um, you know what? And I don't even remember the name of it, but it was just a. It's just it doesn't a one matter. Terabyte. They're generic. They're spinning. external drives, USB drives, it right? Does, but yeah. it was a spinning disk, and right. and also it was um, USB three, and and you know what? This new laptop, everything's USB C. So I've done a little bit of research, but I before I buy something, I know the two I'm kind of looking at. But before I, I'd love to ask you. I mean, I, I think the option here is, and remember. I've got to run parallels on it all day. So, eight to ten hours. You, the and the fastest external drive would be to use the Thunderbolt three. Your 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 Mac new MacBook Pro has a Thunderbolt three. Those C ports. So this is very confusing about USB C. USB C is just a is just a physical connector. It can represent a USB port or a Thunderbolt port. In your case, it is a Thunderbolt port and a Thunderbolt three port, which is capable of. I think I want to say 40 gigabytes a second. I can't remember. It's a very fast port. So... Uh, but I don't think the new laptop has that Thunderbolt, does it? All of yeah, them yeah. the USB-C, four of them. Yeah. Yeah, they're Thunderbolt 3 ports. So if you want... I mean, it's up to you. If you want a maximum speed... I want maximum speed, yeah. <laughs> uh, I thought you had a need for speed. So... Um, uh, you know, my favorite, uh, I'm, they're not a sponsor, uh, but I just buy all my stuff from them, is Other World Computing, for Macs anyway. They really specialize in Macs. And um, they uh, sell Thunderbolt 3 external drives, but they're not cheap. Uh, take a look, for instance, at their Envoy Pro EX. It's an SSD. The capacities go up to 2 terabytes, although... That's going to cost you seventeen hundred dollars. I would probably oh. go. I know. I would go with the one terabyte, which, if you get the slower one, is five ninety nine ninety nine, and if you get the fastest one, the extreme performance, it's nine seventy nine ninety nine for a terabyte. But that is going to give you. It's bus powered. That's one thing that's nice about that USB C port. You can do hundred watts on USB C, which means it can power even a very large hard drive. A lot of the well, what I wanted to try to do is also get a larger one because but being back into photography again, yeah, I wanted, I want, I want to. Well, I'll tell you, I tell you what I bought for my, for um, I bought for my iMac Pro something a little slower, but I wanted more capacity, so it has eight terabytes. It's, it's an enclosure that does USB three one. It's not. It's Type C, but it's not Thunderbolt three, so that's a little slower. It's also a little slower because it's two drives in what we call scary RAID, RAID zero, where the drives are interleaved to speed up writes. But if either one of the drive fails, the whole thing goes. So you want to make sure you have a good backup. Uh, but if you want, you know, uh, inexpensive good price, uh, that's a, that's a great way to go. Let me let me. I have to look at my uh, my sh Amazon orders to remember what the name of it was. It was some it was some weird off brand, not not off brand in the sense of bad. I've bought a number of stuff. For, it might have been from Akitio, a k a k i t i o. But I got to tell you, Thunderbolt three is weird because. Um, Akidio makes some Thunderbolt 3 enclosures that only work with Windows. That means they wouldn't work even if you're using Windows in parallel. They wouldn't work with that Macintosh. They need to have Windows hardware uh, on the other end. So you want to make sure, since so, you're using so, a Mac, that you get <clears throat> you get one that is uh, Macintosh compatible. Okay. So um, 
So obviously, so definitely, I need a, uh, Definitely, I want to go SSD. It sounds like I don't want spinning. Yeah. So what I got I could, was from a company called I don't know if this is a good one. Although I've had no trouble with it, Oyen O Y E N Digital, and it was there. I just you know I was looking around. I, this is the one I could find. Mini Pro Raid. It's a hundred bucks for the enclosure. So you you get the drive the drives separately, and you could put into it uh, any laptop sized drive, which means you could put two. In fact, I would put two Samsung 950 uh, Evos in there, and you could have well, two terabytes. It does it does SSD obviously, right? Yeah, yeah. Any any laptop. Oh, there drive. you go. There you go. Yep. Any laptop drive, and now it's not as fast as Thunderbolt three, but it's a lot less expensive. Thunderbolt three is very expensive, but. It can be well, busted. The one I've been leaning towards is what I'm seeing with Lassie. Two guys have pushed me. Very expensive. Lassie. Mac people love Lassie. I don't know if Lassie is as good as it used to be. They got they got bought by, I think, Seagate. Uh, oh, did they? Yeah. So so before you get all excited, as Mac people do, oh, Lassie, it's the best. Remember, it's Seagate now. So, uh, But Lassie makes great stuff. There's also uh, Mac folks love the Go drives. The G drives, and uh, these are also very, very expensive. I think because, frankly, G technologies, G drives, because they're being sold to Mac people. To be <laughs> to be honest with you, no, I don't. I don't. Yeah, that doesn't. Yeah, yeah. No. These two, the two, the two friends were definitely Mac guys. Yeah. Um, so you I, can get G technologies, a good one. Uh, La C L A C I E is good. Um, I wouldn't go with Lassie anymore because I really don't think Seagate is making it a premium product anymore. It used to be a premium product. I think it's just now a, another Seagate brand. Well, the second Although one somebody's telling me, oh, great, now G Technologies Western Digital. Oh, man. Oh, you're kidding. <laughs> oh, man. So here's now, what here's what you want. You want Samsung EVO drives. Okay, those are the best SSDs. Okay. And you want an enclosure that will handle Samsung EVO drives. They're two and a half inch. I think they're two and a half inch SSDs. So I would wire just gutter, what do wire cutters say? Suggest the new Samsung T5. That's their pick. Yeah. No. But I've, I'm seeing some things in them that if you use parallels with that, they get real hot. Yeah, they get really hot. I have this. I have some of these Samsung portable drives. This is for backup. This is not for day to day use. That's what I, that's what I was reading in the comments. Yep. Do not do that. They're great for backup because you can have these you know giant drive that'll fit in your pocket. It's you know tiny. I would you know I would look at an enclosure that'll let you put two Samsung Evos in. If you want to be if if Data integrity is important. You'll run them in RAID 1, which is uh, redundant, but it'll cut the size in half. If size is more important and you're doing backups, if you're working with video, for instance, you're not worried about, you know, you're going to be doing a project and then it's over, it's over, and you save the, 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 the files later somewhere else. Then do it RAID 0, scary RAID. That gives you speed and capacity. Any specific Oyen you're talking about? That Oy, Oyen was the, yeah. I'll put the link in the show notes. The one I bought, ninety nine bucks. It's on Amazon. It's a it's just an enclosure, and then you'll add your own drives. A Kitio A K I T I O is very good, but again, you want to get uh, one that is Mac compatible. This is now the choice would be whether you want to go USB three or you want to go Th Thunderbolt two. Thunderbolt two will be faster, but Maybe faster than the drives, right? So you really have to make sure that you have drives that will keep up with the bus, the connection. Yeah, that, you know that's all hard to keep up. Is there? A, there's got to be a good site somewhere that gives. <laughs> no, good... no. You know why? Because this is so new, and Thunderbolt three is so ill-supported. There's lots of information about USB three point one, very uh, over Type C, very hard to find good Thunderbolt three stuff. If I, I trust MacSales.com. If you don't mind paying, you know, a little more because you're getting Apple, poor Apple people, they see us coming. They say, well, I spent a little 50% Apple tax on their laptop. They don't mind a little Apple tax on the hard drive enclosure, do they? So they see you coming. But I think that you can trust other world computing. OWC at MacSales.com. Uh, this is a confusing, very confusing environment. Because Thunderbolt 3 has not really taken off. It's been around for a long time now. It's just not really taken off. Leo Laporte, the tech guy. So, 
I'll show you the Oyen. Yeah, that's what I'm really interested in. This was cheap. Um, this is not the one I bought. They make a number of them. Let me show you the one I bought. Um, they're cheap. They're just enclosures. I think this, let's see, SATA USB. And I think USB 3.1 is probably fast enough, honestly, given the, the, the real premium that you pay for um, Thunderbolt 2. Does those only fit one or fit two? The one I have fits two. I have, but I put two, uh, four. I think two four terabytes in it for eight. It's the Mini Pro RAID V3 USB 3.1 Type C Dual Bay Enclosure. Now you can buy it populated, but I wouldn't, since you say you want to put SSDs in there. You you'd put two. You can't get more than fifteen millimeters. So, uh, but I think the Evos will fit. So two, two and a half inch Evo 950s in there. And uh, that would be pretty darn fast. It's bus powered, which is great. The USB-C gives you enough uh, juice from the laptop that you don't have to plug it into the wall. And now, the other you, thing to remember, I'm I'm packing this in a backpack back perfect. with the coffee shops and everything. Yep. That'll work fine for that. Yeah, them. that's the nice thing. You don't have to take a power brick with you. It's fairly small. But it's a lot of. I yeah. have eight terabytes on this sucker. But yeah, I back it up. Question. I back yeah. it up to my Drobo Mini because I don't trust it. Right. So I see a power plug on the back of it. So you don't have to though. You don't. You don't have to. Okay, you don't have so that's to. That's what I wanted to know. As long as you're right. going off USB, uh, you know, Type C can go up to 100 watts. That's enough wattage for this. And you get dip switches to choose Scary RAID, RAID Zero, which is the fastest, largest capacity. Most the, you could use the redundant RAID, which is RAID One. And then I wouldn't use I wouldn't use JBOD uh, or or uh, I would just I would use RAID zero. That's what I'm using on it. That's fine. It's reliable. It's yeah, not zero super fast. Yeah, it's yeah it's not super fast. But with those Evos, it'll be pretty fast. And then the Evos are fairly cheap now. So a hundred bucks Evo for the is SSD. That's yeah. That's the Samsung. That's the best SSD. And you don't need the Evo Pro. Just get the regular uh, EVO. 850. Okay. Uh, and let's see. So you're saying 3.1 is, is another word for Thunderbolt 2 or 3? No, they're not related. <laughs> see, that's, see I, I, this is what bugs the hell out of me. So I, you've got a Type C connector I mean, on that laptop. I still don't know this stuff. You've got a, I know, it's crazy. You've got a Type C connector on that laptop. That's a physical type, that's that round right. connector. The chip on the other side of that in the Mac Pro. MacBook Pro is a Thunderbolt 3 chip. But there are lots of laptops where it's just USB 3.1. Thunderbolt, that that port, though, on the MacBook Pro will do it all. Power, video, it'll you could support a monitor with it, Thunderbolt 3 and USB 3.1. Thunderbolt 3's enclosures are really expensive. That's when yeah. you're talking about the Akidio or, yeah. you know, the G-Technology. Those are really expensive, the Lost Seas. They're very expensive. They're very fast, but you're talking thousands of dollars. Yeah, yeah. I'm confusing the port type with the prototype. Everybody does. I know. Because you, you see the physical port. That's a Type-C connector. But that doesn't tell you what this, what it's capable of. Apple made it capable of everything, which means Thunderbolt 3, video, type USB 3.1, power, everything. So, uh, but I think USB 3.1, well, you're doing, you, you also have to figure out, you're going to do 4K video on it? I'm not doing any video. I, could, I don't do video. All right. Don't no. worry about it. You don't only need yeah. that speed all if I, you're recording 4K all video. I wanna, yeah. All I want to do is run my parallels at a very at a, the, the best speed I can get. You'll be fine. And then I'll, I'll have another section for photography. Yep. So Perfect. I want to get something a little more space. Get that oil in.